Good day everyone, I am Nerlin Magdalena Salis, your teacher demonstrator for today. Good morning class, before we start, may I request Ms. Ana Rosa to please lead us a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning everyone! Good morning! So before you take your seat, please pick up some pieces of paper and also arrange your chairs properly. Okay, you may sit down. Let me check your attendance first. Please stay present when your name is called. Let's begin with Miss Asne, Agustin, Badok, Kausing, Everdoni, Grenada, Sinarosa, Sumambot, and Miss Villarin. Okay, you're all present. That's good. Did I give you some assignment last meeting? Oh yes, so please pass your assignments in the center aisle in the count of five. Four, three, two, and one. Before we hop into our next lesson, let's first have a review to what we have discussed last meeting. So, Ms. Sumambot, can you recall what we have discussed last meeting? Okay, thank you, Ms. Sumambot. Yes, we have discussed the concept of species and classification of organism. How about you, Ms. Villarin? What have you learned from our last discussion? Okay, very good. So you have learned how to classify organisms using the hierarchical taxonomic system. As we go through our next lesson, I want you to partner with your seatmates and I want you to list down all the names or all the species of organisms that you've ever heard of. And I will only give you two minutes to do that. So your two minutes starts now. Time's up. Stop writing, everyone. Raise your papers. Okay, Ms. Sumambot and Mr. Pangasinan, how many names have you listed down? Oh, 25. How about you, Ms. Asne and Ms. Everdoni? 30. How about you, Mr. Kausing and Ms. Valerian? 50. Wow, that's too much for just two minutes. That shows that the biodiversity of our planet is immense, that we can possibly name all the organisms that we've ever heard of, right? Okay, so do you have any guess what will be our lesson for today? Yes, Mr. Ganada. Something about species and organisms. Yes, it might be. Yes, Mr. Augustine. About ecosystem. Yes, so what do we need in maintaining the stability of our ecosystem like we mentioned in our past discussions? We need high advantage of? Yes, high advantage of biodiversity. So what will be our lesson for today? Exactly. So our lesson for today is all about biodiversity. These are our objectives for our lesson for today. At the end of this lesson, you students will be able to please everyone read. Okay, thank you. First, explain the importance of biological diversity. Second, find out how the changes in the environment can affect species extinction. And lastly, distinguish environmental changes that may result to the loss of species. Biodiversity. So when you say bio, it means life. So when you say diversity, it means the state of being diverse or variety. So what is biodiversity? So let's go through this in more details. I have here a video presentation which discusses biodiversity and its importance. So I want you to listen carefully because we will go into discuss some series of questions afterwards. Okay? And that is the end of the video presentation. Thank you for listening. I hope you really listened. So based on the video that you have watched, what is biodiversity and why is it important? Yes, Ms. Quinones. Mm -hmm. Very good. Nice idea. Anyone else here who want to answer? Yes, Ms. Navales. Okay, very good. Yes, Mr. Penales, you're saying something? Okay, very good. That's nice. Anyone else here? Yes, Mr. Agustin. Okay, very good. So how can the changes in the environment can affect the continued survival of the species? Yes, Ms. Cabalubias. Mm -hmm, that's right. Yes, Mr. Sarad. Okay, very good. How about you, Mr. Gilbero? Mm -hmm, that's right. So, your answers are all correct. No, thank you for participating. I want to inform
emphasize to you that life depends on life. Animals cannot exist without green plants and that living things create niches for other living things. When we say biodiversity, it refers to the variety of life in the area. And within the biodiversity, we have what we call population. And population is a group of living things within a certain area that are all of the same species. A population of one kind may affect a population of another kind within the community. A jungle has a greater amount of biodiversity than a cornfield because in a jungle community, some populations such as ants, fungi, and ferns can be very large in number and other populations such as tigers and snakes have fewer members. What do you think keep a population from increasing? Death? Environmental changes? Yes, that's all correct. Limiting factors are environmental conditions that keep a population from increasing in size and it also help balance the ecosystem. But more often, human actions have resulted in habitat loss and degradation that have accelerated the rate of extinction. What human actions do you think have contributed to the extinction of some species? Yes. Deforestation, correct. Water pollution, yes. Air pollution, that's right. We must remember that a sustainable development means a society should live under the carrying capacity of the environment. And the carrying capacity is affected by the changes in the environment. So therefore, what should we do? Yes. Exactly. We should not involve ourselves into the mentioned human actions that contributed to the habitat loss and degradation of other species. We should protect our environment. Very good. In a balanced ecosystem, organisms need a... Exactly. A balanced environment. Do you have any questions? Clarifications? None? Okay, let's now proceed to our next activity. So I will group you into four. This will be the group one, group two, group three, and group four. So each group will be given time to brainstorm and distinguish the environmental changes or problems that may result to the loss of species. So using a marker, you will write it down in the cartolina that I will be providing to you, and you will pick a representative that will present your output here in front. Are we clear? Do you have any questions? None? Okay. You will be graded according to the rubrics presentation and explanation 30%, organization 30%, and content 40% with a total of 100%. So your 10 minutes starts now. Thank you everyone for participating in the activity. Please now go back to your seat and arrange your chairs. And let's now test what you've learned from the discussion we have done. So please get a one foot sheet of paper because we will be going to have a short quiz. Okay, Dan, please pass your papers in the center aisle in the count of 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So for your assignment, in a one half sheet of paper, explain how can we contribute to the betterment of our biodiversity. Understand? Any questions? None? Okay, if none, I think that would be all for today. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. So see you next meeting and God bless.